Hi, my name is Neha Asad Lalani and I'm going to be presenting the purposes of music videos. This is the content of what we will be learning in this presentation. First, we're going to be starting off with what is a music video, then the history of music videos, and then how music videos help artists and bands promote themselves. What is a music video? A music video is a short film or video that accompanies a complete piece of music, most commonly a song. At first, they were described as illustrated songs or promotional clips. They are now used as a marketing device and a source of income for the artist. To understand the world of music video, the history behind how it has developed and reached its present stage should be looked at. This is a timeline of some examples of music videos in each millennium. We will be looking at these further in detail. In the 1800s, specifically 1894, Edward Marks and Joseph Stern used a magic lantern to project images while the song, The Little Lost Child, was performed. As a result, this sold more than 2 million copies of sheet music. This was the first step to music videos. In 1926, the new element of sound added another dimension to music videos, assisting with the realism. Example of this is Vitaphone shorts like Merry Melodies. In 1929, the earliest example of music video, St. Louis Blues by Bessie Smith, was created. This displays the technology available at that time because of the black and white image and the muffled sound. Quickly moving into 1960s, this was the start of visual innovation as artists started experimenting with their music videos. An example of this is Hey Jude by The Beatles in 1968. This is a simple performance music video, but it was shot from different angles. Another music video with innovation was Bob Dylan's Subterranean Homesick Blues in 1965. This was an old version of a lyric video. In the 1960s, few of the most popular artists of all time came into the picture, like Queen and ABBA. Popularity of artists, listening and viewings of their songs grew. In the 1980s, music videos became mainstream. Music videos started to be shown on channels like VH1 and MTV. Also, award shows came into existence, like the VMAs, Video Music Awards. The first music video on MTV was Video Kill the Radio Star by The Bugles. In the 1990s, music videos had increasingly become an auteur's medium. An auteur is a filmmaker who is involved in every creative process from start to finish, which includes script writing, directing, and sometimes even editing. They have a unique style that audiences can recognize. An example is Mark Romanek, who directed Michael Jackson's Scream. Internet revolutionized the way in which we access and view music in the 2000s. Artists exploit technology's capabilities during production and post-production using green screens and CGI. Two examples of music videos are Carnival of Rust by Ports of the Fall and Shots by Imagine Dragons. Both of these videos heavily depend on CGI and green screens. Music videos can help promote an artist as it is a great way for artists to get their music out to people who never actively look into new music. It is also a form of content marketing beyond the music itself. Visuals are easier to remember. Music videos are also part of the world of experience that the artist creates. It evokes emotions and sets a specific tone. Music videos help with the visual representation of a band or artist as well. Bands can express their thoughts and their real image and personality in a music video. For example, the gorillas use the animation style for the music videos. This is unique and creative as it is a very uncommon style. However, fans don't see the real image of the band and just an animated one. Promotional clips of the bands can be released as well. This means that the band does not need to travel to perform live. The Beatles in 1965 began making promotional clips for distribution and broadcast in other countries so they could promote their record releases without having to make in-person appearances. Music videos keep an artist in the public eye. An advantage of this is that they are constantly known by people, creating sales for the band's album, music tracks and merchandise. Their views increase. However, a disadvantage is that people would expect to see new releases and up to standard music and videos from the band. This would lead to stalking. Music videos can help with extension of outlets. For example, they can be shown on music channels, be put on DVDs, people can download them and they can also inspire dance moves and choreography. These all increase sales and publicity. Technology has advanced tremendously, bringing us iPods, MP3 players and smartphones. All of these are easy and convenient to use and access music with. There are legal and illegal ways of downloading music. The legal way of getting music is through websites like iTunes and Spotify. 
which create money for the musicians. However, the illegal way is to access websites like torrent.com or converters like YouTube to MP3, which can affect musicians' income, especially ones that are not so famous. Sometimes bands and artists don't stay in their own neighborhood of music. They sometimes collaborate with film and TV to create music for those mediums. This is called synergy. Synergy is when two media products work together to mutually benefit each other. Artists offer or are asked to create songs for films and television programs. Sometimes bands incorporate scenes and clips from the film or television program into their music videos. An example of this are the James Bond films, specifically 2015 Spectre, which had the title track Writings on the Wall by Sam Smith. Sometimes artists are approached and asked to compose a song that connects with the storyline for the film. An example of this is I See Fire by Ed Sheeran for The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Other times, artists are just asked to sing an already planned song with lyrics. An example of this is Love Me Like You Do by Ellie Goulding for the movie Fifty Shades of Grey. An advantage of synergy to the artist is that they gain more popularity and publicity if the film is famous. An advantage to the film is that people would research on the movie to see the singer and song. Both areas would get increased publicity. A disadvantage of synergy to the artist is that the film may become a flop or it may have some conflict with the audience. This would create negative publicity for the artist. For the film, no matter if it is a flop or a success, they still have to pay the artist. If the artist is famous or they are demanding a lot, the film has to pay a high amount of money. I hope you benefited from this PowerPoint video and that you know more about the purposes of music video. Thank you so much for watching.